World Cup day. I'm going to watch it in Hobart, in Devonport now, I've got a bit of work to do the preview for the Aussie team, soccer they call it, gosh the game is football, you don't really need socks to play on, football. This week, haven't given you much of a chance. Do you listen to any of that? The no. bit arrogant? No, 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 no. Arrogant or confident, eh? You know, that's what we say that lets people think we are arrogant, but we are just confident. Now, if you compare their players with our players individually, then I can understand they think, hmm, not bad, we can, we can beat this game. So let them, let them think like that. We prefer to be the other look. Yeah, exactly. Gee, that's great access on the eve of the World Cup. Well done, Chris. Um, the party, meantime, is just getting started in the Rainbow Nation, and a Hollywood heavyweight has flown in for a slice of the action. <laughs> yeah, Carl, that's when you know the party is really getting started, when a Hollywood star like this touched down, he touches down in Johannesburg. John Travolta, of course, flew his own private Qantas jet into uh, Joburg. He is, of course, the Qantas ambassador, and that is why he is here, of course, to uh, support... The Socceroos, he'll stay here for five days. He's actually going to uh, visit yeah, tomorrow uh, to meet all Text the players. And Mark also could probably give him a few tips because when this is what John Travolta said when he was asked just what uh, position he would play in a soccer team. Goalie would be interesting, <laughs> but maybe a, maybe a forward, I think. Maybe midfield, I don't know if that's too much pressure. <laughs> tall, big guys. What do they? Uh, what do you think? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That probably would be the best for the team. Big goalie. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> John Travolta joined.